It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports, and we'll see who rules the skies in today's battle. It's the Atlanta Falcons and the Arizona Cardinals, and it comes your way next. Some of those in the silver-haired community would say it's a great day for golf, and it is, don't get me wrong, but we say it's a great day for football, and the roof is wide open here in Glendale at State Farm Stadium. Today, two NFC clubs going to hit taking on the Arizona Cardinals. Brandon Gordon with Charles Davis. Uh, CD, big changes underfoot here in the desert for 2023. Most notably, new coaching staff. But I guess change seems inevitable when you come off a 4-13 and season, does it not? Absolutely. I think you're perfectly on track with that. And I think some of the changes are going to be on offense where they were a little more wide open. But now... A bit more buttoned up, I would anticipate. And on defense, head coach, that's his background. I think he's going to throw a lot of different things at teams, trying to keep his team in contention. And then for the visiting Falcons, a lot of people very eager to see the number eight pick in the draft, and that's Bijan Robinson. And he's a guy I would have taken earlier in the draft. I go against the old adage, you don't take a running back in the first round. When you have one this skilled, this talented, who can run it and catch it, and run your offense through him, you take him as the Falcons did. Now the big leg of Matt Prater ready to get this one started. And we are underway here on EA Sports. Cordero Patterson to return it, bringing it out of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Falcons offense set to take over for the first time, and it's all behind their 30-year-old quarterback. That's Taylor Heineke. Let's face it, you don't see too many Old Dominion alums suiting up under center in the NFL. And in fact, Taylor Heineke, the first ODU quarterback to suit up for a regular season game, not to mention doing well in the playoffs. This guy's an absolute fighter. For every chance he's had in this league, attitude, determination, those carry over to his teammates very well. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there, and you throw it again, you throw it again, then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set him up. Heineke now on second down. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. It's a gain of 16, first down Falcons. They'll run this one right with Robinson. And they're going to stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. I would think as a play call, you want to look for some quick hitters to your tight end. Any type of a route to replace where that linebacker was. Because when you saw the speed with which he reacted and stopped that play, maybe use that speed against him in the future. They'll run again here with Robinson. And he'll get it across midfield and down into Cardinal territory. Nine yards on the pick up there as he'll be left with third and one. Good strong run against the 3-4 set. And that 3-4... You've got to have you guys up front eat up a lot of blocks. The guy playing over the center, the nose, he usually has to take on double teams. But when you're able to successfully move him, you're often able to get some yardage. And that's when linebackers have to clean up and make tackles. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. As one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, on offense, I want to throw body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping in one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. And they run the option here on first and ten. And a nice little start as he's able to get this up to the 28. A really nice effort that time. 12 yards on the keeper, picking up the first. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. 
they're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Throwing again, Heineke on second and ten. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. you got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. Heineke now. He's got his target. That's complete. Touchdown, Falcons. Drake London, 28 yards. And the Falcons are on the board first here this afternoon. Well, they spoke about the importance of getting off to a good start. And they're on their first drive, Charles, into the end zone for the touchdown. And what an advantage for them. They're already clicking one drive in. Didn't need to wait to get up to full speed. We had heard about the extra time they put in with each other, trying to learn each other's skills, what they liked, the whole deal, and it paid off early in this one. I would expect them to keep firing on the next drive and keep that connection going. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. Set to return it. Here's Moore. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Cardinals offense set to take over for the first time. And they are piloted by their fifth-year quarterback, two-time Pro Bowler as well, Kyler Murray. He and Arizona came together on a hefty contract extension before last season. But injuries, well, they caused everyone to take a step backwards last year. But when healthy, Kyler Murray, still a big play waiting to happen on every snap. Now the veteran workhorse, here's James Conner. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Here's a second and nine now from the 29. They'll fake it to Connor. Now Murray. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Disrupting that play and dropping him was Arnold Evacati. The start of this game shaping up nicely on that visiting sideline. Yeah, how about that? You get your points on the opening drive. Then you get a big sack there on third down, and you make the home crowd go, shh. There is a hush indeed. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. They'll net only 35 here following a 43-yard boot, eight-yard return. And it will be Falcon football. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 40. And they go play action. Now Heineke. That's out wide here for Robinson. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it's second down. Brings up second and seven. Yeah. <laughs> 
Robinson up the middle. And he'll be tackled at the 45 following a gain of just two. And that's why you see a lot of teams that like to play 4-3 defense, especially against teams that run the ball really well. Because you count on your defensive front, the tackles and the ends, to eat up the blocking and the offensive line and keep that guy in the middle clean so he can roam to the football and make a tackle. In this case, he introduced himself and said, hello, my name is Mike. And able to pick up the first across midfield to the 47. It goes as a gain of eight and it moves the chains. Well, he and his offense were staring down what was likely a three and out. Zero fear from his side, though. Never doubt for a second they pick up the first. He's ready to pull the trigger on a keeper the moment it revealed itself. A first down throw for Heineke. And that one's going to come up a little short. It's incomplete. Drake London, his intended target, but it's going to be second down. Heineke to throw it. Forced out to his left. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. There he goes, and for good reason. Running with it has paid dividends earlier in this game and earlier on this drive. And until they prove they can stop him, Alfie is going to be shy about continuing to run for first downs instead of airing it out. Heineke's throw there taken in by Smith. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Well, it's almost as if they didn't leave the field after their first drive. They picked right up where they left off. Another good throw there. And this offense, humming here in the early going. On first and 10, it's Robinson. John Robinson, a 21-yard touchdown run. And the Falcons are off to a 13-0 first quarter lead. Another impressive drive. So they're two for two, two touchdowns. Charles, a great start to this ball game for them. And one of the words that's really worked its way into our lexicon is stacking. They've stacked momentum each time out, not only on offense. Between those touchdowns, defense held, forced a punt to get the ball back. And they played awfully well in this one. Both sides playing at optimum level. Koo able to connect on the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They find themselves in a good size hole here and a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. Shotgun now for Murray, dancing to his left. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A quick first down pickup. Good start after going three and out on their opening drive. And there's the beauty of Kyler Murray, because we all know he can get it done through the air. Terrific right arm, and nowadays we don't even talk about his height anymore. He's shown that he can see downfield and make throws, but he also possesses wide receiver speed. He can call his own number or scramble and turn it into a big play as well. Kyler Murray, a dual threat at the quarterback position. For this defense, CD, and going up against Kyler Murray here, what's the secret to keeping him in check? <laughs> Having better athletes than him, which is really unrealistic. So I go way back in football. They used to have a coverage called the umbrella coverage with four defenders back deep. Now you want to try and move that umbrella up front with Kyler Murray, kind of surround him and keep him hemmed into the pocket because if he breaks out, He's going to hurt your defense in a big way with his legs. 
Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. First down, Murray. A uh, short one here, caught by McBride. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. From the 38 now, here's second and three. Murray a give, this is Connor. Had a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over-pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. Third and two, and here's Murray. That is caught. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 26. 11 yards there as they connect on the quick slant. I like the call on third and two. They were geared up to stop the run. I like the fact they just hit him quick. A little slant route. All about timing there, partner. Yeah, the timing, everything well executed. Murray now on first down. A short one here, caught by McBride. It'll go as a gain of four at its second down. On play action, it's Murray. Targeting more, and he's got him on the crossing pattern. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Now Murray off play action. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. That's interference. Defense. So obviously, they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. Prater for the extra point, and that'll make our score 14 to 7. Touchdown, out is Prater to kick. From his end zone, here comes Patterson. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. Here comes the Falcon offense now as they get set to take over here. So for this offense, Charles, remember, drive one made it to the end zone. Drive two resulted in a touchdown as well. Now they'll try to make it three for three. Yeah, and you know, they told us all week that this was the plan and this is what they wanted to execute, but did they really believe it would happen this well, this efficiently? I know they'll take it, and afterwards they'll say, there is never a doubt in our minds we were going to be successful in this one. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, Using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tough for guys trying to get to the football. And Pitts is going to pick up a Falcons first down as he'll be brought down at the 38-yard line. Through one quarter, 14-7 our score. Second quarter now, Falcon football as they've got it with a first and 10.
Play action now. Here's Heineke. And that one to the right side and incomplete. Kyle Pitts, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Heineke again. He's going to drop this underneath for Robinson. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. On play action, Heineke, blitz coming, and down he goes. It'll be a loss of eight on the sack, and it's going to lead him to fourth down. And this is a quarterback who's already had success on the ground in this first half, but this time they're able to hem him in. And it's always different when you rush a mobile quarterback as opposed to a guy you know will be right back in the pocket. In this case, you got to make sure the inside pressure and the outside pressure match, and maybe even a second wave to make sure if he squirts free, you've got someone to tackle him. The punt team on now as Pinion sends this one away. Fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 15-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Cards will take over first and 10. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 16. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. Arnold Ebikady, that is now two sacks for him here in this first half. And nowhere to hide on that play. No, there was not because every exit door, that was surrounded. And I think that was supposed to be a bootleg, but he had no chance to get outside the pocket and try and make a play. On second down, Connor looking for space. And a short gain here across the 10 to the 12. Okay, work with me here. Make sure I'm clear on this one. Inside their own 10-yard line, and they run a toss play? I know it works, but ordinarily, that takes a lot of hood spot to do something like that because the only thing more dangerous is trying to throw the ball in that situation and maybe taking a big loss. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Screen pass to Connor. And he will not make it to that imaginary yellow line as they get him to the ground at about the 23. They'll get 11, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. That's pulled in at the 32. That'll go as a punt of 42, seven on the return. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. Now the Falcons offense gets ready to head back onto the field. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Second down at six now from the 42. Robinson on a give right side. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. That good for 19 and a first down. And if his coaches are correct, we're going to see a lot more runs like that from this young rookie going forward. And you know, slapping each other on the back up in the boots right now? the scouting department because they really recommended this guy highly and he's justifying their faith in him so from the 39 now they'll come up on a first and 10 throwing Heineke it's caught Smith and he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds a gain of eight there on the play and that'll bring up a second down in just a couple Now Heineke. 
And a quick throw there is incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. And this offense on third down today, they've been good, three for four thus far. Here it's third and two. Robinson will try to pick it up. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. And that's why he spent a first-round draft pick on a running back. Not for just the fancy runs, but these dirty, gritty third and ones, third and twos. That's why you draft him. Heineke on first down. And his throw here is incomplete. Everything looked right on that play except the conclusion. He dropped it. An in route going into a little bit of traffic. Maybe in the back of his mind, he was wondering where the hit was going to come from. Now a second and ten. Off the play fake, Heineke. That's going to be caught by Pitts. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Oh, a lot of credit to the play caller here. He saw the design in his mind and implemented it. A little zone stretcher here because they started the tight end on the left side of the formation and set him on a crossing route. And this works really well where you can find that space between levels, and they were able to do so for good yardage. Robinson. He is not going to advance very far. He'll be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. On that play, it was the defensive front that won the battle. They outleveraged the offensive line, got into the backfield, and held him to no gain. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. Looking to throw, Heineke. Buying time to his left. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. He'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three. But now it's third down. The plan was clearly to challenge them by sending a blitz on second down. But even the extra guys couldn't catch him in the backfield, though. He didn't scramble for it first, but he does get the last lap by evading the blitz and getting beyond the line of scrimmage. And he gets in. Touchdown, Atlanta. Keith Smith punching it in from a yard away. And the Falcons have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Well, nothing complicated about that. That's old-school power football. And effective. And that's the key to everything, right? Sometimes we try and do too many things. Just hand it to the big guy and let him go forward. Coup now for the point after. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The football back in the hands of the Arizona Cardinals. Now these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. Murray now running right on the option. 
And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. A really nice effort that time. 12 yards on the keeper, picking up the first. Well, partner, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it. But it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because people worried about their quarterbacks getting hit. But when you call it at the right time and you use it properly, you see the type of gains you can get. A nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. An injury stoppage here and a lot of worried faces on that offense and on that sideline as Kyler Murray is in some discomfort. The medical staff will attend to him and we will step aside. Second and a couple. They run behind center with Connor. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy. Let him pick up the first down. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. And now a first chance for the backup here to throw. He's going deep for Brown. And incomplete on the deep ball. The scoreboard tells the story for him a little bit bleak. And while it's not quite desperation time yet, it's definitely getting close. But the defense reads the scoreboard as well. They're going to back up and make him really earn it. Here's second and 10. And tuned to throw it now. A uh, short one here caught by McBride. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 38-yard line. Give them 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Zone coverage here defensively. They're going to let their tight end run a drag across the field. This is where a linebacker gets forced to pass him off. That time, the receiver gets lost a little bit, and he's able to make the catch and pick up good yardage in a first down. A run there on first down and a pretty good one at five yards, so make it second and five. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. From the 33, here's a second and five. Again, it's Connor. Now that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Toon going to throw it. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all, and I understand why. They've looked lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. Fourth down, Murray off, and the Cards field goal unit and Matt Prater out there now. From the left hash, this will be a 52-yard attempt. Prater's kick is good, and that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted. I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yeah. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Yeah. And now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. Prater now will send it away following the made field goal. And this taken in at the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. 
B. John Robinson leading the offense out for another drive. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Heineke. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. I know for us it's fun. And it's not so much fun for the rookie receivers when we see them coming into the league and we're going to training camps. You see them working on getting two feet down instead of one. But the best ones train in college trying to get two down instead of one. So the transition's a little bit less. In this case, though, wasn't able to complete it anyway. Five yards. Now it's third and five. To throw is Heineke. And this is going to be incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. So on now is the Clemson man, Bradley Pinion, to punt this one away. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. Here's more on the return. So possession goes over here on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. A good pickup there, 26 yards. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. First down now, but that clock rolling. Here's Toon. And that, oh, incomplete. Daylight in front if he could have held on, but he didn't. So instead, it's second down. That was well played, but that was also an example of a corner who understands his coverage, realized he had support behind him, and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone and did exactly that, knocking that pass away. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. The yeah, offenses always try to be smart about when they're trying to dial up a screen to the running back, because they understand you can only go to the well so many times in a game without the defense starting to anticipate the call. So now third and 10, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. Throwing tune. He's going to air one out. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Trying to get something positive to happen here before the break, and they sure need it. They went for the big one, but it winds up incomplete. Blake Gilligan on to punt now on fourth down. This is a way, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. So out of bounds on the punt, and the spot will be, the side judge says, right at, yeah, right at the 35-yard line here. Bijan Robinson and the Falcons back onto the field. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. He doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back, and that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half.
A first down throw for Heineke. Throwing for Smith on the out route, and it's caught. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here's Heineke. Got London on a slant. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. First and ten, Heineke. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. To the air again, Heineke. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. That's a big force incompletion there to bring up third and long. And this defense can still salvage a little momentum by forcing them to kick a field goal. Because just a few plays ago, they looked like they were headed towards the end zone. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. And this a 39-yard attempt. Koo knocks this one through the post, and the lead grows to 14 and 24 to 10. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. So we have reached halftime now with the visiting Falcons out on top. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a former Longhorn, B. John Robinson, who was tough to stop in that first half. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. the Cardinals who get the ball first they trail here as we resume action in the third quarter from a couple yards deep he'll bring it out of the end zone and he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22 so here's the Cardinals offense now as they get set to start this third quarter on well, the first half they struggled a little bit to keep pace offensively CD down two scores here so how do they make some changes coming out of the locker room. Well, they've studied what they did in the first half. They've seen what the defense has thrown at them. Now they want to have a plan of attack against it. So you come out, you're not going to get all the points back on one drive, but get started on it. Start chopping into that lead, and maybe it'll inspire your defense to help out as well. I'd say it's not panic time yet, but let's be honest about it. Empty possession here, not what you're looking for when you're down a couple of scores. Absolutely not. Try to start the second half off on the right foot. Unfortunately, going to give the ball up. And they run the option on second down. 
And he'll take this one up to about the 23. It's going to be a gain of six on the keeper, but it leads to a third down. So that's what he can do you know, when he keeps the football. It's not a huge gain, but it shows how hard it can be to stop him. Yeah, and I thought the defense had that one pretty well contained. And in fact, they probably came up and felt pretty good about what they did. Then they looked up and realized he still got good yardage out of it. He's a tough guy to stop. And this is caught. It's Brown. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's one of the better plays we've seen this offense put together so far. They haven't been able to get on track much at all. But listen, they're only down a couple of scores with the rest of this quarter and the entire fourth remaining. So, stranger things have happened. Murray now on first down. His throw incomplete. Oh, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw a ride. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. Here now is second and 10, again for the 41. Murray now to throw. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. And we just saw another example. These cornerbacks have played tight coverage all game long. Might start wanting to think about a few double, triple move routes to try and shake their guys free. Because they have, you're right, they have had no room to breathe. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. And they'll get him down two yards shy after a pickup of eight, fourth and two. That looked great when he first took off because, in my mind, there was room to run and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly, and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now that forced him to make a decision with his fourth down call. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. Here comes the Falcons offense. It's their first possession of the second half now. Heineke going to lead the Falcons up now first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. He'll get it to Robinson to begin the drive. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. Well, they always talk about playing great team defense, and that was an excellent example right there. Everyone on assignment, no one in the wrong spot, everyone filling their gaps. From the 22, here's second and eight. From the shotgun, it's Heineke. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Call it a loss of five, a big sack to bring up third down. This defense coming out after the half, and if that plays any indicator, Charles, maybe a little refreshed and refocused here for quarters three and four. Yeah, they did really well on that one. That's exactly what they need to keep doing if they want to change their fortunes in this game. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. I can assure you, setting up the screen is much more difficult than it appears. It requires excellent timing from everyone on the offense, and the defense's number one goal is to throw that timing off. Here's Bradley Pinion now, standing just outside his own goal line. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. Arizona's offense back out and ready to go. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Throwing now is Murray. Over the middle here to Brown. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it brings up third and five now. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. 
This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. To throw is Murray. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. This is where the NFL is headed year by year, partner. A league where just about everyone has someone under center who can get you with their legs as well as their arm. And we've certainly had a nice display of down from both QBs in this game. And that continued with that first down run. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight at the Falcons, 42-yard line. Murray going to throw. Throw left side complete. That's more. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. Shotgun now for Murray. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Here's Murray. Steps away to his left. Sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Extra point good by Prater, and that cuts the lead to 24 17. Touchdown out is Prater to kick. Patterson going to bring this out of the end zone. They had tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Atlanta now coming out on the field. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. First down, Heineke. The cards get to him here. He's brought down for a sack. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. Like how they've started the third quarter here. They force a punt on the first drive, and after this sack, it looks like they'll be forcing another one as well. Absolutely. Maybe got their second win coming out of the locker room. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. So nothing doing there. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Give him the completion. No gain. But let's focus in on that tackle. Open field tackling. The hardest thing to do in the game, I believe. But when you get outside the tackle box, it becomes a numbers game. The defense had more than they could block. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. And that's a really good job there defensively. 
defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Options galore here, second and a few inches. Again, a run with Connor. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Well, partner, I haven't seen a vote for most popular player on the team. This guy's got to get a lot of votes. He does not care, does he? Totally unselfish, physical runner, doesn't worry about yardage, just keeps moving the chains, being a team player. Here's Murray from midfield. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Brown. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. From the 42 now, here's second and two. They'll fake it to Connor. Now Murray. This will be caught once again by Brown. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons 21. A good pick up there of 20 yards. First down, Murray. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Marquise Brown was the intended target. That'll bring up second down. To throw, it's Murray. Throwing for the out route, he finds Wilson. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness, there's a premium for all of that now. That is correct. And the Cardinals are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. Steps away. Taking it in from seven yards away. And the Cardinals are an extra point away from evening this one up. Prater on and the extra point. And that will tie our game here in the third quarter. So that drive goes eight plays. And the play that polished it off was the touchdown run by Kyler Murray.
nothing separating these two sides. 24 all our score as he sends this one away. And Patterson will not return it. It comes out to the 25. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. We got a brand new ball game all even after that last touchdown. So every drive now becoming a little more critical here in the second half. Heineke on first down. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. A gain of five brings up second and five at the 30 yard line. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Third and two. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. I think I saw a lot of shoulders just drop there. And what I mean by that is they finally were able to relax a little bit because that was an important play call. They needed to pick up that first down at this stage of the game. Yeah, couldn't afford another quick drive and out. Back to Robinson now on first down. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 11, and the Falcons pick up the first. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Robinson with another carry. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. 86 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. Interior of that line blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they blocked well too. Not only have they stouted the line of scrimmage, with their agility, they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a really good job helping out the running game. Now the first down run is going nowhere. He's going to be dropped in the backfield, a loss of two. When you're lateral to the line of scrimmage, linebackers keep those shoulders square so they can go up and down. But when it's time to go, turn your shoulders just like a running back. Get through the line and hit the runner in the backfield. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Hand off now to Robinson. And this one also slow and developing as he's maybe getting back here to the line of scrimmage, but not much more than that. Offensive line really didn't give him any room to maneuver on that play. Things closed pretty quickly, didn't they? And how about the wrap-up at the end of that tackle? Left no doubt there would be no additional yardage to be found. Third and long for Heineke. Complete Jefferson to target. And he is going to lose yardage here. They'll wind up losing a yard on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. Here's Bradley Pinion now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin them back. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity all tied in the fourth quarter. Murray now on first down. Over the middle complete. It's Brown. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. 
Connor up the middle. And he works three. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. They've kept him in check until that run. That's the first time he's really gotten loose in this game. And you have to keep that in mind. Don't dwell on the fact that he finally had a big run. You kind of are counting on that as the game went on. Get back to what you were doing before. Start limiting him again. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. That's complete to McBride. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. For many teams, the evaluation of tight ends has really changed. We used to wonder about how they would block first and foremost. Now we want to know how these guys can run because we envision them in offenses, catch the ball, how much yardage can they gain after that? And that on display there for a good pickup. Throwing on first down is Murray. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Connor. Just a gain of a couple there. And that'll bring up second down. Now Murray. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Able to find a lot of empty space there, picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. From here on, any score could be the winning one, and he is certainly aware of that. Look at the way he locked in on that marker and made a mad scramble to get to it for the first down. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. He's got his man. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Rondell Moore from three yards out. And the Cardinals have broken this deadlock and have taken the lead here in the fourth. So what a comeback here. They looked like they might be down and out not too long ago, but they have rallied back to take a fourth quarter lead. And I think we've got to give them nothing but credit for figuring things out on the fly because mentally they were on the ropes ready to go and they hung in there and made some changes and adjustments and that led to some big plays and it turned this game on its ear. Crater for the extra point and they will take a seven point lead. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. On the return, here's the dangerous Cordero Patterson. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Falcons ready to take over. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 28 yards the game there on the catch and run. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Out of the gun, they give to Robinson. Now he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. From the 46-yard line, a second down and six. Heineke. The safety blitz turns out to be a great call defensively as they sack him for a loss of nine. But tell the statistician to add another one to their impressive total today. Great week for the defensive front. A tough one for that offensive line. Quarterback getting right back behind that line, hoping for more time to attempt a likely third down pass. And he will get him down a couple yards shy of the first down marker. A nice tackle coming up from his free 
free safety spot. It's a pickup of 13, but they're still a bit short, and it'll be fourth down. I wonder what was going through his mind when he got the play call. He just got sacked on the previous play. He knows they're coming after him again. A little bit of guts to stand in there, take the hit, and successfully complete the screen pass. Really well done. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. The football going back over to Arizona now. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. A short one there caught by Swain. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. Now second and five. Here's Murray. Able to get this one in the grind. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 25 yards there on the catch and run. It's a nice zone breaker right there. Take the tight end, move him out to the slot. Then have him run a corner route versus his own coverage, which means he's going to be behind the, the, the shallow coverage and ahead of the deep coverage, put the ball right on it. On first and ten, here's Murray. Got a man, it's Brown. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and that's going to bring up second down. From the gun, Murray. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage, when you see a play like that where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big-time play by the defense. Murray to air it out again. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Brown. So five yards here, five on the play. And that will bring up second down. Murray giving to Connor on the option. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher, third and six. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. I like that word. Put it in Here we go. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. Points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. So they come up on second down. If they can get another run like we just saw, it would likely put an end to this thing. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. 
They'll stay on the ground with Connor again. Falcons going to use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. And on third down, they said, forget about the sticks. We want six. Prater's kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So that one, CD, going to make the road back a lot more difficult. Oh, there's no doubt about that. You know they were praying on the other sideline for a miss because now, as you pointed out, a very difficult road down two scores you don't just need a touchdown you need a chain of events to go your way you've got to score somehow get the ball back and score again the odds of that happening not great in your favor Prater now will send it away following the main field goal And Patterson not going to return this. It'll come out to the 25. So Heineke and the Falcons down by 10. Exactly one minute remaining. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Heineke now looking to throw on first down. And his throw is incomplete. Passing lanes, tough to come by with so many defensive backs on the field here late in the game. And it's not just the number of bodies, it's their quickness and their agility that makes it tough to complete a pass. Inside a minute to go. Here's second and 10 now. Now Heineke. Able to find Patterson. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. That's a pretty play there coming out of the backfield. But as that back, you've got to be conscious of making sure you're secure in the football. When you get out in open field, sometimes you get a little loose with it as you're trying to get up ahead of steam. Make sure you keep it close to your body because those defenders are trying to punch it free. He does a nice job there protecting the ball and picking up a first down. Being chased out left. And this turns into a nice game with a slide at the end. Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? You want to make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. Now one final throw here is incomplete, and that is how this one will come to an end. Well, somebody lit a fire under that offense during the break, Charles. Remember, they trailed an intermission. They come out, they have the big second half, and that lifts them to the victory. And Brandon, trailing at halftime, we always talk about teams making adjustments. You know what the best adjustments usually are? It's just executing better. Because the game plan you put in place at the beginning of the week often still holds. You don't have to make whole